Yo, what up? Today is November 7th, 2018. 9.51 a.m. I am driving a 2015 Ford F-150 pickup truck with EcoBoost. And I have 157,000 miles on the goddamn radar. 157,000 miles on the dash, man. That's a lot of miles for a car that's only three years old. These cars plus I had no more than 15,000 miles max. I think I passed that 150,000 miles ago. Anyways, I didn't put those miles on the truck. It came with the miles. It came with like 150. I just put like seven on it. 7,000. But, uh, Real quick, straight to the point video. I haven't told my moms. Cause I don't want her stressing. I ain't told Paul because I know he going to tell her. I told Brittany. So that's, I might as well tell my mama. She going to tell. But I went to court and they talk about I might be going to state jail for eight months because of some stuff that went down in 2017. That I did and I wasn't supposed to do. Uh, so, yeah. the Actually, my court-appointed lawyer told me that the district attorney, the DA, offered me eight months to stay jail. But he was like, nah, we're not going to do eight months. We're going to get you six. And I'm like, is that better? You know, after a month in jail, you don't got used to it. I guess. I don't know. I ain't been so long. You get used to it after a certain amount of time. If I've been there for six months, you might well leave me there for eight. I'm speaking at the side of my neck. I don't know. I don't know nothing about jail. I'm a hustler. I can't hustle. Well, I can't hustle in jail, but I'm not a jail person. But that's what they're talking about. They're talking about a little jail time. Honestly, in the, in the back of my head, I got a question. What kind of punishment? I mean, yeah, it's a punishment. You get taken away from your family and et cetera, et cetera. That's, that's, that's a punishment. But what kind of punishment is jail, actually? You know, like nobody really wants to go to jail. I mean, it, it's a it's debatable because you take care of me. You come, you pick me up. You give me a free ride to jail. You give me free clothes while I'm in there. You give me toothpaste, toothbrush, tissue. You feed me. All this is free. I get a blanket. I get to watch TV. I get to lay up and do nothing and be lazy and don't have to do nothing. Just sit back and relax and chill for as long as I want to sleep all day long or whatever it is I want to do. Eat, sleep, shit, nothing else. Don't have to do nothing in jail. Or at least that's how it is in the county. Now, when you get to state jail, I don't know how that works. But what kind of punishment is that? It's like, it sounds like a vacation. Like, you finally get to get away from reality and all of this. Find and work every day. Well, I like to work. You know me, I like to get out there and make that money. But... Besides the fact that, well, you know, family gets to come visit or whatnot. And, you know, I'm the breadwinner and I'm the backbone of this family. So with me missing, I'm, my family can still hold up without me. But it, it'll just be a little different. But, um, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But, yeah, I'm, I might be doing that. I might be going to jail in January after the holidays, after Kiki's birthday on the 5th. Um for a little while for a couple months and it's all good to me because well the only thing i don't like is that i might have a felony on my background after this which i can it really don't matter because i make my own money i don't work for nobody i go get my own bread and i'm not gonna work for anybody but i don't know how hard that'll be for me in the future if i ever want to get an apartment or i don't plan on getting an apartment i want to buy my own house I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I got that boss mentality. 
You know, I want to, if I, if I go get somewhere to stay, I want that to be my place. So I don't got to feel like no, you know what I'm saying, application and be like, shit, you know, can I stay here? No, this is my spot. I bought this cash money. That's how I think. I don't have the money to do that, but I will get it. But anyways, I'm, I have a felon in my background, which means I can't buy a firearm in Texas because I have a felony. But there's a way around it. I can't buy a firearm, but I can buy I can buy an airsoft gun, which is a BB gun or pellet gun. And nowadays, the motherfuckers are so powerful, they shoot through concrete blocks. That's just as good as a gun, if not better. And you don't need no background check for that B. And I can carry it around with me and all that stuff. So if I need it, hey, that's just like having a gun. Um, uh, without breaking the law. Uh, anyways, eight months in that bad boy. Kiki can keep up with the bills herself. She beast mode. She been doing this shit all her motherfucking life. She just just took a break for a little while. And she know when I come back. I mean, before I go, I'm I'm finna get on this motherfucking hustle like I been doing, but I'm finna turn it up, and uh, I ain't turning my collar down on nothing. We're gonna stack all the bread and save it, you know, so she'll be extra Gucci. Like, ain't she gonna change? You know, the lifestyle's still gonna be what it is. Truck's still gonna be here. She's still gonna be breaded up, and if she need to buy something, she's gonna have money to do so, and I'm gonna make sure I go in with a, uh, a couple hundred, so... You know, I could eat good on the inside, too. Put some money on my books and buy me some shit from uh commissary, like noodles and shit and all that shit. But, um, so right now, since I don't go back to court till January, uh, well, I got to go to Mr. Min- not Mr. Minor, traffic ticket court in Mesquite next month. And when I go back next month, there's two things I need to have done. I need to have a $300 ticket paid for, which I haven't put a dime on yet. Uh, I need to have that paid for. And I need to... What else? Oh, get my, I need to go back with my driver's license. Or at least some type of progress in my driver's license journey. Because it's suspended. I need to get it back before I go back to court. On December, but in January, I go back to Clayburn, and uh, so I can see what they're gonna do. Um, in eight months, or not eight months, he said about six months, but it don't matter. Them dogs that I got gonna be grown. Hopefully, they don't get knocked up. Uh, state jail. I was wondering, cause I got a homie who got a long rap sheet. He been getting in, in and out of jail since we was kids, and I really mean since we was kids. Since juvenile, he had leg monitors, everything, burglar habitation. He got like seven, or well, I'm probably exaggerating. He got about three burglar habitation charges. All within like two years or some shit. And he's done time after time after time after time. And the longest he ever did in jail was just like less than a year. You know, for all his charges. And I'm like, bro, burglar habitation is serious. Because if you break in somebody's house, that's just like murder. You can scare somebody to death. So if you break into an old lady house... And she see an intruder and she freak out so bad that she dies. That's murder. You broke into her house and killed her by scaring her to death. But he got less than a year and got out free. I'm like, how does that work? And then I get in trouble and they offer me a month stay jail. I'm like, dog, I don't get in trouble. I'm not a trouble person. You know what I'm saying? My rap sheet don't exist. I, I don't go to jail. You know? But, um, yeah, that was just something I was thinking about. Uh, shit, I also think about, since I'm not going to be using my moving truck, and I thought about this before, I need to go ahead and, um, get all of that stuff out the storage, 
and load it up on my moving truck. Since I park in my moving truck at the store, we're paying for two different storages. I got a 24 foot box truck, and we got a 10 by 30 storage unit, which ain't full. I can put all that on my box truck and park the box truck at the stores like I've been doing for $100 a month. That way we'll save $150 a month by not paying the storage unit. Save them all $150 a month. Matter of fact, I need to do that. I'm going to holler at them. But then, see, my mom doesn't know. I didn't tell her what happened when I went to court. I didn't tell her they offered me eight months or six months or whatnot. Because I don't want her stressing and shit. But, you know what? She don't have to know. I could just get my truck, go to the storage, and load everything up on my truck. And let Kiki know. And uh, put everything on my truck and take it back to my storage and park it. And it'll be safe and secure and locked up. And ain't nothing going to happen to it. And, uh, shit, she ain't got to know nothing. She don't go to the storage no way. I might be able to do save them $150 a month. Yeah, man. So, anyway, I'm done blabbing. Shit. I'm finna go in the motherfucking house. Make me a tuna noodle spread with these motherfucking hair. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make me a video for that. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a tuna noodle spread. That's gonna go hard, too. And Lauren just texted me from school, say they made her take off her tights because it's Wednesday. She got to wear skirts and she's ashy, sad face. So I'm like, ask your friend's lotion or put some water on it. It's going to get ashy again, but it'll fix it temporarily. Put some more water on there later. I'm going to go to this house. I got to go. I hate saying report. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on probation. I'm not on probation. I'm not on no papers. But I, I don't know. My, the terms of my bond is I have to go take a piss test, a random drug test. So I got to go later and give them my piss because I'm so special and they want to see my pee in person. They like to watch me pee. I go in the bathroom and they, the officers in the restroom, they follow me inside of the restroom, stand behind me with a big old mirror in front of me. And they look through the mirror at me, and they look at me pee. And then I put the pee in the cup, and I put a top on the cup, and I give it to them. And they are so happy to get my pee in a cup. They're like, oh, my God, it's Derek's pee in a cup. Like, oh, my God. And they look at it, and they're like, wow. Like, this looks good. Like, cool. And then they tell me to pour it out. And I pour it out in the toilet and flush it, and we go back and sit in their office. In the officer's office, and talk about some random bull crap, and then he tells me peace out, and I tell him peace out, and I'm like, alrighty then. You want to see my pee? You want to see my poop too? I'll show you my poop. Anyways, I'm out, bro. I said it was gonna be a short video, so I already 15 minutes. Peace.